Welcome to Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia and one of the fastest growing metropolis in Southeast Asia. I am going to explore this city within just 24 hours and let's see how it goes. The best and most affordable way to explore the city is through the public transport system of metros and other train services. If you have the currency, it is easy to select the destination and to obtain the tickets and you will get the change with the tickets. My first destination is the Batu Caves or the famous Muruga Temple. So it just takes half an hour from Kuala Lumpur city. So for your information, Malaysia is visa free for Indians for the year 2024. So you only have to do is to register in a website to obtain a digital arrival card before three days of your arrival in Malaysia. And that is totally free of cost. I have arrived at the Batu Cave station and the temple is just a few steps away. This huge limestone cave along with the temple is a famous tourist destination here in Kuala Lumpur. You can climb the steps to reach the top where the temple is located. On the way back. There you see is the Merdeka Tower, the second tallest building in the world. Despite the heavy rains, I have come to explore the Kuala Lumpur city centre and the famous Petronas Tower. You can alight the metro at KLCC metro station to reach the Petronas Tower. The KLCC metro station is situated inside the KLCC Surya shopping complex. Once the tallest in the world, Petronas Twin Towers is the iconic symbol of Kuala Lumpur. In the morning, I have come again to KLCC Park to explore the surroundings. You see is the Go KL Hop on Hop of Bus. It takes you to various tourist destinations that you can learn from its city map and it costs you around one ringgit that is 17 Indian rupees approximately. Kuala Lumpur is a well planned and developed city with excellent drainage system, public transport and green open spaces. I am inside the KLCC Surya shopping complex which has various international luxury brands such as Usace. Now I have again taken the metro to explore the Chinatown and the central market. It is literally possible to explore the nook and corner of this city in public transport.
through the streets of Kuala Lumpur. I'm inside the central market which is just a shopping destination. I didn't find the Chinatown much captivating to be honest. It has just a few counterfeit products at display. Now back to the airport, so actually there are a lot of transport options between the airport and the city centre. Apart from taxi, you can take a KLIA express train which takes, which is the fastest and takes around half an hour. It costs around 700 Indian rupees and the cheapest option is a bus that takes around one hour but costs only less than 200 Indian rupees. These transport options converge at KL Central which is the largest transport hub in Malaysia. I have reached KL Central. The KLIA Express train to airport also starts from here, but I am going by bus. It also starts from one of the lower floors in here. the time being bidding adieu to this beautiful city as well as Malaysia.